Hello everybody, I'm Smudger Productions and I'm back here for another unboxing video. Now this one is really big, but uh, yeah, I kind of want to get this open right away, so yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so here is almost it unboxed and here's everything else. Like just look how much look how much stuff was in there, like holy. And then not to mention the the freaking box of course. But yeah. Okay, so this should be easy to get out. Oh yeah it is. So, um, I got this set on eBay last month for about 50 bucks, um, but in case you haven't seen it from the title, <sighs> okay, sorry I had to cut there, but here is the Boulder Mountain set. Let me just back this up over here. There it is, the Boulder Mountain set in the, I believe it's 2011. Um, but yeah. So I'm not gonna keep this in a box. I'm actually gonna like open it up. So yeah. Oh, and then we got the plastic wiring over here, nice. We just love to see it. Um, but the reason that I actually bought this set is because I always liked um, the set. I actually saw this set when I was a kid. And I was like, I always, I've always wanted to have this. Um, especially for like the actual bowler mountain itself. Um, but let's, so the first item we got here is, I'm going to move this at the back and, oh, uh, there we got, um, 2006 Oliver. Yeah, 2006. So. I actually, to be honest, I actually like this item, not because of the face, no, but because of all like these um, detailing here, like we have the safety valve, I think, and then there's just detailing on top of the uh, the tanks, and then look at the railing here, and then the lining, it's just so much care, effort and care was put into this. Um, and I don't mind Oliver being in this set actually because Learner Curve puts obscure things in items all the time. But um, yeah, I like this item, except for the face. But maybe I'll do a custom on him one day. So the next item we have here is, of course, Rusty, which is the main character of Rusty in the Boulder. And you can also see him right there. Um, now, I actually have another Rusty and technically Oliver. But my one that I had as a childhood, I actually tried to make a custom Black Railway Series Rusty, and I always regretted doing that because it was my only one. Um, and I kind of did that for a few other narrow gauge engines. Um, but yeah, this Rusty, and by the way, this is all like new in box, as you could tell. Like, Thumper here is still in its packaging, like, everything is new in box, so. So yeah, there's Rusty. 
Okay, so the next item we have here is uh oh. Um well I didn't know this, but it's Thumper and unfortunately the treads have I don't know what happened to them, like I honestly have no clue what happened. But yeah, there's two treads and then there's one piece. I honestly have no idea how that happened. Um, and then there's another piece there. But this tr this tread honestly looks really bad. Um, like, I mean, yeah, it's just it, the treads. Like, I I might find a way to like put them back, but. I had no idea that this was actually like, oh wow, that's, that kind of sucks. And they're literally like, they feel really sticky too. And that's really weird. Um, but yeah, there's Thumper. He's actually really like cool. I kind of always wanted to have him in my collection. One of those rare, like one of the, not rare, excuse me. One of those obscure items. I know he's not rare because he was sold by itself for like a year or two in like 2004, yeah, 2004. Um, his face is really cool. I know a few people that make um, Glenn Customs and then they use this face here. Um, but yeah, Bumpers is, Bumper is one of those characters like, it was only made for modeling. It was never like, he never spoke. But I do actually like his model. I mean, there's a fair bit of plastic on it, but I think it's I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, and rip the treads too. I'll try and find a way to like fix them. But oh wow, we get a. Wow, we get a, um, what's this? Oh, so this set's from 2010. Look at that, a yearbook. That's actually really cool. A yearbook. And then there's the instructions in there. But wow, check it out. It's actually a 2010 yearbook. Wow, that's cool. Wow, I actually got these two items, Bulgy and George, when the, when they were re-released, so. Wow, this is really cool. And uh, for those of you wondering if Thomas's Frosty Friend made merchandising, yes they did. Look at that, it's a snowman. And I unfortunately have that, but. So yeah, I might review this in like another video or something. Um. Oh wow, I didn't know that. They still made these in 2010. That's cool. The new Rumble and Race Mount set. It's like up there. Water Tower. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. I didn't know that'd be in there, but that's cool. Right here it is, the main box. Oh. oh wow, it just comes right open. Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay, well I guess. Um. So I guess we got Boulder here, which just literally just came out of the box. Um, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I love that face. That's like classic season five vibes right there. That looks so, I don't even know what's in there, but it's just really cool. Hmm, that looks really cool. Um, 
And then we have the... Oh, I forgot about this. We have the stack block house. I completely forgot that I came with this set. Wow, that's really cool, actually. So, like, if you want to just tip it over, then... Wow, that's... that's really cool. Okay, and then... Oh my gosh. This looks really cool. Um, here it is. Here's Boulder Mountain itself. Um, and this is also... This is actually really cool, too, how this is like a... A double male male track piece. That's really cool. But um I'm not sure. Oh, it's supposed to be like this. Right. And then I guess boulder just goes there. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know if I can fit the yeah. So I guess the idea with this set is that you take thumper. And then you just push it here. Okay, well that didn't work that time, but... There we go, finally, on like the fifth try. So wow, that's actually really cool. So like, if I wanted to do like a remake... Wow, that's actually, that's actually really cool. But you gotta just put like the, the building in like the right position, but wow, that's really cool. Okay, so, move that out of the way. Nice, we got some normal cardboard. I might use this for like a, something in the future, I don't know. Wow, there's so much cardboard in here. You, oh man. Like I'm gonna show off all like this big pile of stuff when I'm done this video. I mean, when I'm done unboxing. Okay, so here we got a bunch of track pieces. Um. And then here we got another arch stone bridge, which can have many of can't have too many of them. No, I already have three. But look at this curb road track. Look at that. That's really cool. Um, and then there's like different sizes for them. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, that's actually. Oh wait, no, they're the same size. Never mind. Um. Wow, that's that's actually really cool. I've never like seen these in person, but curved row track. Now that's really cool. Um, and then we got some more in there. Actually, I'm gonna leave that in there for it. No. Um. We got this really nice looking tree here. I already have like two other ones of those, but. And then we got the, a, a green tree, which I may use in an upcoming remake, I don't know. But yeah, we got all these track pieces here. Um, I'll set up a time lapse of the, of making the set. But. Okay, and last but not- oh, sorry. Um, I guess we got another railroad crossing sign here. Um, can't run out of these things. These are really important. Yep. And then, last but not least, we have a railroad crossing. Now, this is pretty cool because I don't really have a lot of, um, T sort of crossover railroad crossings but this one is really cool because it kind of reminds me of like the hatch tree crossing where like if an engine comes through and that's like stop and like yeah it's just really cool so now i'm gonna set up a time lapse video of of me putting together the set in its complete form so yeah
Okay, so here's the set in its entirety. Now, I think it looks pretty, pretty decent. It's two ovals interlapping with each other, but I, by far the main attraction here is Thumper and the Boulder Mountain itself. But like, so I'm gonna show off all of the pieces that were left in the cardboard. So we got these two big boxes here, and then we got all of this crap. Look at that. That's a lot of garbage. Oh, um, and then there's that there too, but wow. Look at that. That's horrendous. But yeah, maybe I'll do a review of this set in the future, but yeah. Thanks guys for watching, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.